So I want to expand my content into a demographic of dads who are out there trying to figure out how to support their families. So all of you orthodox dads out there trying to figure out what to do, here we are. All right. First and foremost, this is to everyone. I mean, if you're looking to expand your prospects on business, here we are. And if you're of the Orthodox faith, great. And if you're not, I would love to invite you to come to a service sometime. It's actually quite eye-opening <laughs> once you go. Um, so staying in scope of the video, you are not always going to be able to give your 100% to whatever business it is that you're building, okay? When you're in the learning phase, you know, whatever it is that you're focusing on, whatever it is that you're trying to build, it's, it's going to take quite a bit of effort <laughs> to sit down and actually do the thing. Uh, and I, that's why I say like, Focusing 20 minutes a day on the learning phase is a win because you've got kids at home. You've got a wife who needs attention and all husbands should listen to this regardless of faith. Your wife needs attention. You need to have good conversation with her. You need to schedule in those date nights. You need, uh, it's very important. But after you've been at work all day, and you came home and dealt with family, all that jazz, you might only have 20 minutes <laughs> to sit down and learn some new programming language or figure out marketing or find some way to expand your customer base. Whatever it is, whatever it is, those 20 minutes a day are going to be paramount to building your skill set and the momentum of sitting down and running your own business, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to just do 20 minutes a day. <laughs> now, assume you're past the learning phase. You're past this uh, expand your skill set phase of things. You're actually in the building phase of your business. Maybe, maybe you're meeting client needs Maybe you're expanding on the software you're building. Maybe you're increasing the client base because of whatever business you're running. You know, whatever it is. Setting up that time in which you can allocate two hours a day can be an absolute headache. <laughs> so exactly what I just described, right? You come home from work, you've taken care of family, all that jazz. You need to budget time for this fledgling business. <laughs> and it might be in a phase where you're not making any money, where you're like me. You're just building some software based around a hobby that later you might be able to monetize. Sure, sure. But you're. it's going to lead to riches in the end. Even if those riches are... $20 over the lifetime of the company. It doesn't matter because this is a learning opportunity. That's that's the thing about about running your own business or entrepreneurialism, however you want to phrase it. It it's all a learning opportunity. Tomorrow's the big game, but tomorrow never actually comes surprisingly. Tomorrow could just be another 2-hour work session. Tomorrow could just be another failed sales venture. Uh, tomorrow might be a complete pivot and you open up a new business. Whatever it is. The, the important part of all this is the two-hour focus. So it doesn't have to be two hours. That's just what works for me. And so every day you sit down, you put two hours aside for this thing. Whatever the thing is. And you'll, you'll know what I mean when you're in that space. If it's a business you're building or a software you're building or, or learning a new skill, whatever it is, you need to sit down and just pour energy into it. So for me, 
I don't have any music playing. I don't have a podcast going. It's just focus on the thing that I'm building. And over time, that thing is going to grow into something that's tangible. In my case, it's software, right? In your case, it might be a a garbage pickup company. It it might be a house cleaning service. It, It might be a vending machine business. It doesn't matter what it is. But you're spending that time figuring out the logistics, the details, the the parts of it that need to be expanded upon so that it's functional. <laughs> and that's the whole point of the video is that you need to budget time. You need to just put so much time into it every day. And at first it starts at 20 minutes because you're just learning, right? And then later it's two hours because you're expanding upon it. You're building upon that business process. Later, it might overtake your your income at your regular day job and it's your day-to-day job. And maybe you work eight hours. Maybe you work 16 hours a day because it's an 80-hour work week kind of thing. Sure, sure. But the initial struggle is going to be allocating that time for the 20 minutes and then the two hours. And it's a struggle. So, to sum it all up, what you're going to need to do, I can't give you a guide for how to run your business or how to build it or what to do to advance. That's not what this video is. This video is saying you need to sit down with your spouse. You need to sit down with the people in your life, and if there's no one in your life, you need to sit down with you and look at what you do every day. Because you have the same 24 hours that everyone has. I know that's a total cliche. I know every self-help book and every financial guru ever has told you, like, everyone has the same 24 hours. Yeah, yes, 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 I know, I know. But it's true. <laughs> you get to sleep for some X percentage of that day, and the rest of the day is spent doing who knows what. You go to a job, you use the restroom, you eat some food, all that jazz. But you have to allocate some time into the machine that you're building. So in my case, there's zero income from this. (laughs) <laughs> I'm building a a financial analysis program. <laughs> awesome. That's that's cool. It's little more than a hobby right now. And maybe that hobby produces monetary assets in the future, whether it's through investments or some kind of subscription service I can sell based on a, a website that's built around said software. Sure, sure. Maybe that happens. Maybe it just turns into I learned some stuff and now I'm more marketable on the uh, hireable job market as an employee. Sure, sure. But I've set that time aside to sit down and do the thing. And that is the whole point of this video. Budget your time wisely. Allocate your time in such a way that You're not playing mobile games. You're not sitting down and joining your World of Warcraft raid. (laughs) You're not watching TV. You're not, not doing something that maybe historically has been incredibly valuable to you because it's relaxed time. You're instead allocating that time to something productive that is benefiting you not only mentally not only monetarily maybe eventually but also spiritually because you're trying to provide a service for other people that over time will benefit them and thus they're you're improving their lives so Think of it in that frame of reference. 
that what you're doing is going to benefit others and use that as motivation to set the time aside to study your craft, whatever it is. And you will find success. You will find success. That doesn't mean you'll be the next billionaire. You could be. But it does mean you're going to make $1 helping someone eventually. Eventually. And that's the catch, right? You got you to gotta figure out that path forward that gets you to that place. And so in the scope of this video, make the time to sit down and learn and practice and build, organize, figure out what needs to happen so that you can be successful. And as you learn that, as you expand on it, as you make it a reality, those goals will be met because you keep putting work into it. And that's the, that's the most beautiful thing you realize as you sit down and work on these things. <laughs> and whatever you're putting your focus on, it does turn out well over time. But that's exactly what I'm describing, right? It's a math equation over time. Depending on the effort you put in, over time could mean a lot of time. So you need to focus. <laughs> because in that numerator of that equation, that focus is going to limit the time necessary to make success happen. So make it happen. Allocate that time. Do your duty. You can do it. I'll tie this all in to everything I've mentioned. I know I'm all over the place. I can hear people coming home. I hope your day is going well. I will talk to you again later. And thank you so much for watching. Good luck carving out that time. I know, trust me, trust me. I know it's not easy. But I know you can do it. And I'll be here along the way. Let's do it together. All right. Talk to you later.